guys, it's your girl Luna, and I want to welcome you back to the channel. So we have something fun that we're going to be working on today. I have been asked about this a lot, and if you were here a couple months ago, I did a video on how to set up my story in your home, how to set up your continent, your energy, your thirst, all of the, all of the home scripts that you can use in your furniture. Well, I know this is way past due, but I am going to be going in and go through the entire beginner hub of how to set it up, where to get it, and how to set up the things that you have. Okay, so just fair warning, this is going to be a little bit longer video because I'm going to try and hit everything. So after you watch this video, if you want to go get it and you already know how to do all the things. Um... In a nutshell, what my story is, if you're similar, if you're familiar with the Sims franchise from EA, it adds a real life role play to your second life avatar. You have to pay attention to your thirst, your health, your continence, which is bladder, um, your social, your energy, and all of these things, and your sickness and your health. And it also gives you a farm hub where you can farm, garden your own food, have your own farm animals, produce your own produce, and then go to your kitchen and actually cook all these things. So it gives you a lot of real life items that you can work with. And it gives you that extra role play that you might be looking for um, inside of your game. So we're gonna go start there. I am currently wearing it, so I'm gonna start off straight from basics uh, to show you what you can get. I will put the landmark and all of that down below so you know where to go and then I'll break everything down. So let's go ahead and get on over to the My Story Sim. All right, so here we are on the My Story headquarters. This is where we're going to be to get everything that we need to start with My Story. My Story is free to get started, and I'll show you some tips and tricks of how you can use this entire sim for role playing, not only just getting the products that you need. So behind me here on the counter is where you will find the main items that you need for My Story. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit closer, which I guess I could have just cammed over here, but I have a habit of just walking up to things. All right, so when you come in, this is where you're going to grab all the things that you need. Um, this is the starter system. You're going to get um, a bunch of starter products um, that you'll be able to use. You'll get things for farming, for gardening, for cooking. And when you start up, there is a level process. So when you're wearing the, stole, the full My Story HUD, what it is, you actually earn XP and you unlock different foods at different levels. So for every hour that you are on My Story, have it on and running, you'll get five XP. You can pause it. So if there's a time where you don't want to deplenish any of your stats, you can pause it and nothing will diminish, but you will then go down to only earning one XP per every hour. So kind of keep that in mind as well. So when you grab your hub here, it's gonna give you some starter items to start with. And then down here, it will actually tell you what's gonna come in that starter pack. So you're gonna get potato crops, uh, potato seeds, a water well, fertilizer, eggs, potatoes, milk, salt, and oil. So this is some basic stuff of what you need and what level of food. So each time that you level up, you're gonna unlock different food as well. They have also, throughout the year of them being here, they've given us some freebie stuff here. So you can go ahead and grab those as well. And each one is gonna give you some other things to get started with. So by having all of this starting off at once, you're gonna be set. You're gonna get tomatoes, wheat, carrot, broccoli, um, another water well, a hen, a pig, fertilizer. Um, on this goodie box too, you're gonna get more tomato, wheat, carrot, broccoli, a lettuce field, seeds, um, four packs each, some garbage bins, a water well, and a fertilizer. And then they did come out with a kid's edition. The kid's edition runs just like the normal size. It's just smaller and looks more petite and more cute for smaller avies or your kids. But it doesn't matter whether you're an adult avi, a kid avi, a, a, any type of other creature, anyone can use um, the items and the kids items have left print, have less prims as well. So you can kind of weigh out which one you want to use from there. 
All right, so when the hub comes out, it's actually going to look like this. The, um, that is on my screen right here. Let me move this over for you. Ooh, because I have mine in a specific spot. So this is what your hub is going to look like uh, when you get it started. And you can edit. I'll come over here to a blinker screen. You can edit what this looks like. So mine looks kind of black and gold uh, marble. I just wanted that look. You don't have to keep this hub on your screen. You can just have the overhead. Now my overhead, I changed the color as well um, because um, on the overhead, you can change the color. Sorry, that went a little wild there. Um, but when you're on here, you can have this and you don't have to have this. I like to have this because sometimes I turn the overhead off because it actually kind of hurts my eyes and gets in the way when I'm doing some other things and I don't like having it there. But what I like about this hub is that you click on your menu and then your menu will come out and it, one, it'll, it is linked to the website. You can go to the website and read up on some more stuff. Um, this is where you change your hub style. If you don't want your farming text on your farm plots, which I'll show you that. Um, your notifications um, this hub actually does come with some things that you can do for yourself so say um, when you're getting started you're still trying to understand everything you can call a friend that's gonna bring up your social you can play a game relieve yourself or take a nap it's gonna tell you what's gonna give you what so nap is gonna give you plus 15 energy but it's also gonna take away 7% of hunger and thirst relieve yourself self is of course gonna give you plus 15 continents but it's also gonna take away hygiene and then call a friend so on and so forth so they give you items to start off when you're trying to get started and everything as you're trying to learn um, and go from there another thing that will pop up um, on the hub here is when you click on inventory you can check how many seeds or ingredients you have so when you click on seeds and ingredients um, it will show up in the uh, main chat right here and it will tell you what you have seed wise so you know what it is um, that you have and it, it'll do that also for the inventory of the ingredients that you have and then you can minimize it and it'll just be a small little circle on your screen um, that's why I like to keep it it's really not that big and it doesn't bother me having it on the corner of my screen so I usually just keep it on like I said because I just don't um, like the overhead so much okay so getting started with my story what you're gonna get is the my story items that are inside of uh, the hub there you're gonna get the hub and you're going to get the starter system there is a certain way that you have to put it on I think you put the HUD on first and then the system but there is a note card in here that tells you so you're gonna get the my story HUD um, you're gonna get the landmark to the main store um, you're gonna get the my story RP system giver uh, the system startup and setup note card and the system so in the note card, it says that you're going to add the My Story RP HUD. That's the orange circle. Um, click the button labeled inventory and then um, add the My Story system and select your gender. Uh, you'll then detach the system, detach and reattach the story HUD, reattach the My Story system, and then you're good to go. All the instructions are right there. You're literally just going to attach, attach, select your gender, detach, detach, and then retach, retach, and then it should level up. Um, and sync that way so I have the HUD on and I have the system on what you're also going to get in the starter pack are the starter items um, starter items that you will get you'll get a tablet and then you'll also get a piece of toast for eating you'll get a toothbrush for hygiene a water cup for drinking so no matter which one you're using these are continuous use so if you don't have food yet and you don't have your farming and anything set up um, and you're losing your stats these automatically come with your items so you can already start so what excuse me so what you need to do when you're holding this item you need to click on said item you'll get a little indicator here and you'll click use in chat it will tell you that your water cup is being used right there so anytime you're using the automatic stuff 
Um, sometimes you will get automatic stuff where it's auto use. Um, when you're using the starter stuff, they don't deplenish. But as you start making food, getting foods, or buying items from other people that are getting stuff, they will usually have like 20, 25 use. Some people have 10 use. You can set it from zero to 25 if you have the affiliate scripts. So like when I go and get some food, let me see, I may have some food in my inventory here. That's not, um, oh here, I have this from, here, let me do catch. Oh, that's not a, my story cup. All right, so I have this cupcake here from a Halloween event. So when I click on it, it tells me that it's 10 use. I have hunger 2.5, thirst 0.5, energy 1.0, continence negative 0.5, and happiness 1.0%. So these are all the stats that are gonna happen for me while I'm eating this cupcake, and I only have 10 uses out of it. So I would go ahead and click use, and then it's gonna tell me um, the Halloween uh, cupcake is currently being used. And then I don't know how many minutes it is, but in chat, it'll tell me how many stats I gained or lost and how many uses left. So when I see it again in chat, it'll tell me I got X, Y, Z for my stats and I have nine uses left. And then anytime you want to go ahead and stop using it, um, you're just going to click on it again, click on the cupcake and that uh, prompt is going to come up and then you just hit stop. Uh, when you have items, sometimes you can make them accessible to everyone, and sometimes you can just leave it to where it's only for you. I did not mean to click at it. I meant to click detach, sorry. <laughs> Alright, so there it is right there uh, in my chat. It's telling me that I have nine uses left on my cupcake, and this is all the stats that I got. The point, the 2.5. 0.5, 1 1.1%, 5 5%, and 1% gain there. So that's how you would use a lot of the My Story things. But like I said, some items you can get that are auto use. So the minute you attach them, they're either auto use and you're going to start losing um, the whether it's 20 uses, 10 uses. Um, and some you can get that are continuous, like when you get your um, scripts for your furniture like if you're sitting or laying on something so the next thing that you're also going to get in your my story items are the user scripts um, the user scripts are items that you can put on your furniture this is what i showed in that uh, video of how to set up my story for your home as long as the item is editable um, where you can modify it you can drag and drop these into the contents of the item that you want to use so continents uh if you want to gain continent continents which is bladder five percent or ten percent if you want to add energy to something five percent or ten percent happiness five percent or ten percent hygiene five percent or ten percent um and like i said it's super super easy i can't edit anything here um but i'll just show you how easy it is if i were to go to something and edit and say that I could add content to this, I would say, oh, when I sit on this bench, I want to gain 5% content. Or if I want to sit on this bench, I want to gain, say, 5% happiness. I want to gain 10% energy. And for some reason, I want to gain hygiene because I'm going to be brushing my teeth or something here I don't know but you can put you can drop all of them into one item to constantly get those stats up faster or you can kind of role play it out and be like oh well I'm in a bed I'm gonna get most of my energy here so I'm gonna put 10% energy here I'm gonna put 5% happiness here or maybe you really like sleeping so you're gonna put 10% happiness um, it's really what you want to do but it's easy as just drag drop and that's it so those are the user scripts that you will get um along with the starter items uh with that all right so since we're here at the main store and we went over how to grab everything and stuff like that um keep an eye on this board this you should change every sunday with different deals of items that you can get actually let's go ahead and start on the other side and i'm only going to go over what you need to go through to start out with my story i'm not going to run into the affiliates and how you can start your own store and stuff like that so this is where you can purchase all of what you need if you would like to so you get all this stuff in your starter pack 
this is what uh, some of the things that you'll be getting. I saw there was a couple of cows, a pig, a barn, or a chicken coop. Um, this is where you can buy what you need. So the kids items, like I said, they're just smaller, cuter, everyone can use them. You can get a regular item that's gonna be a regular size item and I'll show you what the regular sizes are when we get back to my house. And then you can get a discrete one. What a discrete is, say you already have a farmland at your house and so you don't need another barn, you already have a barn. If you get a dis the discrete one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get an invisible box and I can show you what those look like because I have a couple of those as well. You're gonna get an invisible box that you put it down wherever on the item and then you just click it. It's gonna work just like if you had their actual item, it's just on your personal items. Um, and I'll show you what that is as well. So you're either gonna get kids, regular or discreet. Um, and this is the ingredient flour. You're gonna get uh, animal feed, chicken breast and flour out of the barn. And it's gonna tell you, you can buy bulk of five, Ooh, 5, 25, 50, or 250. Um, and then you click on it. Um, actually, if you right click pay, it'll tell you how much that costs if you want to buy bulk. And then here, this is where you're going to get animal feed, and you're also going to be able to buy the chicken coop. Of course, that comes in kids, regular, and discreet, so on and so forth. So as you go through, um, you can buy your own ingredients, or if you like to farm like I do, you can buy seeds, and I'll show you where the seeds are also in the same room. Um, you can also buy a fishing pole to go fishing, you can make wine, and this is where you can grow a range of different crops. So we have potatoes, tomatoes, lettuce, wheat, carrots, broccoli, and we'll go down the list. Again, you can buy kids, regular, or discreet, invisible, if say you have your own farm plot, but you still want to reap the benefits of using the My Story system. Um, with My Story, um, the farm plot, your seeds are here. You can buy one pack, five packs, or 10 packs. And this is, of course, wheat. And this is your lettuce. And it's telling you how much each one will cost. And say that you don't want the seeds, you can come over here and already buy the wheat out. Um, you can buy the carrots out. So you have an option of just buying ingredients or buying to grow. You're gonna get XP for everything that you do. So I like farming, I like having a farm plot. I buy the packs, I get XP every time I do that. And then I also use XP when I get to cook with them. When you're in here, you need to look at the bottom orange of every item. It's gonna tell you what level you need to be to actually use it. You can buy it, but you won't be able to cook with it, grow it until you're that level. So starting out, you don't need any uh, level for potatoes, tomatoes, lettuce, wheat, and I think that's it. All right, and then the next one, carrot level two, broccoli level two, lemon level three, so on and so forth. Um, and then as we go down, you can do um, the Mary Jane. There's things that you can make for that. There's grapes that we saw the winemaker down there. We can make, we get hops to make alcohol. You have butter, like a range of things. There's a beer barrel right there. There's the beehive, rice. And then you have the individual ingredients, salt, oil, cheese, bread that you can also make in your hub. And then they've added some more items, herbs, uh, goat, goat's milk, sheep duck banana tree and then these are some of the herbs that you can buy as well this is the water well this is the only way that you can get water to cook with to do all the things with if it's asking for water this does run out it has a thousand water and you get you grab 10 i want to say cups you grab 10 things of water at a time when you click on the water well all right so over here this is what the kid items look like. So like I said, the kid items are just smaller, but they do the exact same thing as the big items. So say you don't want the big items as I show you, because I have all big items at my house. Um, I have some items that are small and you'll see the difference. So these are the planters. Uh, I think we have some grapes there, um, some pineapples, some lettuce, some wheat. That's the planters, the chicken coop. These are the animals and the water well. They work the exact same, they're just tiny. All right, so when you get started, you're gonna start with a cooking uh, tablet. Uh, this is your level one cooking tablet. This is where you're gonna start cooking all your basics. And when you level up, it will unlock the items that you will need uh, to cook for that next level. 
This is the meal tablet. The meal tablet actually gives you family meals and it gives you five serving at once. So if, it, if you needed one tomato for one serving of tomato soup, you're gonna need five tomatoes for five servings of tomato soup. You just have to make sure you have them so you're making them in bulk and they come out as one item. So you could set that item down and then you have five servings. So you have a family of five, everyone grabs their meal at the same time. It's like you cooked a whole family meal. Very fun for role play. This is your drugs tablet. You'll be able to make shrooms, joints, pot brownies, and gummy edibles. The uh, drug items do give you effects. Um, the, pop, the brownies, the gummies, and the shrooms do. The joints give you stats um, for my story as well. And then we also have a crafting table for apothecary items. Um, this is where a lot of people have used for, if they want to be a doctor, you make pills. Um, I specifically role play as a witch um, and I run an apothecary, a uh, mystical metaphysical shop. So I use this to make brews. Um, and stuff like that and then I resell them in my shop and I custom made them as well So there's a lot of things that you can do or if you don't want you only want the food tablet You don't have to get any of this. There's certain things that you can focus on if you would like to All right, so we're gonna also go upstairs um, I want to touch base on everything that is in this location. So you know where it is um, Before I go back home and show you the official like farming and how all the scripts and everything are in so these are items upstairs that you can gain XP on daily. The trash can, it comes in regular and discreet. Again, if you have your own trash can, you just get the, the blank one and you put it on your item right in front of it. Boom, you get XP every day. So every 24 hours, you'll get XP for this. You have a little vacuum that you can get and it does move around, so it's kind of cool. And you would click on that every 24 hours and get XP. And then washer and dryer. These are the washer that dryers that they offer. But again, they do have discrete and you can put the hub on any of your washer and dryer. There's no animations. You just click on it. Um, you can change the color of them. I don't think it'll let me do it here because I don't own this. But you can change the color of the washer and dryer and the buttons if you want to make that. Um, they have some plants. Um, and again, discrete option. You would get XP, water them, no animations. You have a lawnmower. Uh, they added some pumpkin garden here and the wishing lamp. The wishing lamp is actually really cool because when you get this item, it gives you a free random item every 24 hours. So I've randomly gotten a mystery brew. I've gotten um, farming seeds. I've gotten actual meat. I've gotten brew. Like it, it just, it's just at random. Anything that's my story you could possibly get. Um, so the wishing lamp is actually nice to have and you get XP for that as well. Now they have added some auto use uh, clothing items here. Um, if you have your own pet, you can add your pet uh, discreet here. I have a pet with Teagle and I need to check to see if I can put this on my dog. Um, but I'm honestly not even really worried about it. Um, they just added tobacco and turkey for Thanksgiving. Um, so you could come get these if you want to. I didn't even realize I could. Wait, I'm not 15 yet. Um, I can't get a turkey yet. Um, and tobacco. And then they did start adding weapons. I haven't tried this. Um, I may in the future. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but again, it tells you how these work and what happens and all the things. And then there's some scripts over here if you want to script your own drinking items or your own lollipop and stuff like that. We'll go to one more stop here. Um to show you how you can get started and then like I said we'll head back again I want to thank you guys for coming over and checking out any of my videos um, with my story or anything second life or anything that we've done here on the channel all right so back in the open area as you can see there are two hubs for gifts these items are free as well for you to use I don't know how long they'll be here um, I know the top three um, the key lime pie the drink and the tablet have been here for a while um, these are auto use stuff and the tablet, not the tablet, the notebook, you can actually write stuff in. Um, you can use it as your little diary and use it for my story stats. And then they gave us uh, the October and candy cane gift item as well. If you ever need to, um, exchange anything, this is a personal exchange HUD here. Uh, that's really helpful and it's over on the other side as well. So exchange your my story dollars. All right. So another thing that I want to show you 
right in between these ATMs is the lucky chairs. You want to make sure again you're wearing your My Story tag and you're going to click and we're going to go down to our My Story chairs. This used to be packed when I originally uh, had started My Story because any of these chairs that have the letter of your legacy name. So my legacy name is Luna Lovebad. So these have to start with an L. If they start with an L, you go to that chair, you sit, and that item is yours. Uh, a year ago when this started, there used to be hundreds of people here. It was packed and you literally had to be skin skimming, skimming, skimming constantly to make sure no one else has your L or anything like that, uh, your letter. So I come here every now and then, now that I'm pretty much established in sac Second Life, um, it is nice to come in and grab something I might need. Um, they offer full-size item, kids item, seeds. Uh, there right now there's a pig, there's a potato plot. Um, so all the items are at random. Um, I've gotten a couple of plants here. I got a washer and dryer here. Um, so it really just depends on how lucky you are. But yeah, just come down here if you want to hang out um, and kind of watch. It'll tell you how much time is left on them. Um, so this one will change in 13 minutes and so on and so forth. And then when you're ready to go, all you have to do is click on that uh, teleporter right here. All right, that one just changed to M. I don't think we have any more changing. All right, let's go ahead and head back home actually so I can start showing you some other items. All right, so now that we are back home, I'm gonna show you one of the plant items that I have. This is one of the plants that I have from my story. And as you can see overhead of it, um, I can turn that text off if I wanted to. It doesn't bother me, so I don't really turn the text off. Um, so in nine hours, I will be able to collect the XP from it and I'll have to click water and so on from there. Down here, I have the vacuum. You can put the hood on and may let it vacuum around. Last I knew, you can lose this. I don't know if they've changed it. You can't lock it to your, your location. Um, so I get paranoid and think that it's gonna just run off somewhere. <laughs> that's, that's just personally me. All right, so these are my tablets that I have out. This is the single tablet. You can put more than one out. I put more than one out because I do sell food um, on the marketplace and I needed to make a lot because I had sold out on a couple and I wanted to just get it done, done, done. So if you ever want to look at ingredients, you can go right here on the tablet and it's gonna tell you what level unlocks um, what level unlocks and what you need for that level that's what i really really like so if i wanted to make baby food um and berry it's going to tell me i need two strawberries it's going to take three minutes it's going to have 20 uses and it's going to give you hunger and energy in the percentage and then of course it'll tell you the tags and what it is and then whenever you're ready to cook when you click on the tablet uh this little uh indicator is going to pop up and then it has everything here from chicken to dessert soup baby food the ingredients and you would just go through and pick what it is that you want to cook um and then you're going to get another pop up here and say we wanted to do a calamari it's gonna again tell us we need a fish, a flour, oil, and then it's gonna ask if we wanna make it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click yes. In the chat, it's gonna tell you um, if it's how long it's gonna take to make it and if you have all of the ingredients. If you don't have the ingredients, then it's not gonna let you be able to make it and it'll tell you what you're missing. So up here, it tells me I am cooking calamari and it's we're at two minutes and 45 seconds of when it's gonna be ready. If I wanted to cook another one, I would just go to my other tablet and then I could cook that. I have a invisible meal tablet on my kitchen because also in your beginner hub, you're gonna get an animation. Now, if you don't have to use the animation box, there's an animation box that you can put on your kitchen and an animation box you can put on your farming. So I have this invisible box right here and you would just go to texture and I have mine locked, that's why. <laughs> Unlock it. So all you have to do, you have to go to texture and then if you scroll down to make it visible, that's what the box looks like. You can resize it, put it wherever you want. 
um, etc, etc. Uh, but of course mine's invisible. I put it in a central location so I know where it's at. So then I can click on my stove and I can click on, let's do, oops, female. And then it has an option to flip pan, uh, rolling, chop, stir pot, or mix. So if I do rolling, you're going to get an animation of a rolling pen. Um, and then you can do chop. You're going to get an animation of chopping a product. And then you also have the stir pot. Now you can adjust your poses here. Um, I usually have to bring myself down. I thought I hit save on this, but I guess I was wrong. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> or it depends on what shoes I'm wearing. Uh, to your cooking, say you don't have a stove that has animations, you can have that here. I do have a stove that has animation, but sometimes I like to switch it up. And um, I did just get a new stove, and so I'm going to be getting a new stove top as well. Um, but over here, I have my uh, meal one right there. I put it on top of that because I didn't really want another one of the tablets out. So even if I'm not using that tablet, I can click on this and it's going to pull up a hub. And then say if I want to make soup, it's going to pull up the soups and say I want to do a bread bowl. It's going to tell me I need 10 bread and five milk. I don't want to make that right now, um, but it'll do the same thing as the top of the uh, tablet here it'll tell me it'll it's gonna take 10 minutes that time um, family meals take 10 minutes single meals take three minutes um, I'm going to show you that when you make a family meal my smoothie here is just tipping over spilling all over the place when you make a family meal it's gonna come out like this it's gonna come out and it's gonna tell you what the item is in this case I made a family meal of smoothies and all together I had five of them. And so as I click on this and take one, um, it's gonna tell me who has taken one and then I can get item, I can give access to myself or everyone if you're at, a, if you're at an event and you want everyone to use it or say at home, you're like, no, this smoothie's mine, no one else can take it. You can set it up to where it's just for you. We're gonna click on get item. We're gonna get a notification up asking me to accept. Um, and then we'll just go to our inventory objects. We're going to double click. Now we have that smoothie on us. And then to get our smoothie, um, to give us our stats, we're going to click on it. We're going to get our indicator here. It's going to tell us we have 20 uses for the smoothie. It's going to give us energy, thirst, and hunger. We're going to click use and now we're using it. So now we're gonna fill up our thirst meter. Our thirst is at 53. And so our chat told us that it is currently being used so we can walk around um, and drink our smoothie. Our calamari is done. So uh, we're gonna get this indicator. We're gonna accept our calamari. It went into my inventory. So I can double click that. And now I'm holding my calamari as it starts to resin. Look how yummy that is. <laughs> All right, so when we want to eat our calamari, we can hold on to this and um, use it as well. We click our calamari, we get 20 uses. It's going to give us 2.5% hunger and 1% energy. We're going to go ahead and click use because it looks like our hunger is getting down to 55%. Now, one thing about my story, you do have health and you do have sick. You can quote unquote die. Um, you'll fall out, pass out. I've seen a lot of people do it. As long as you keep all of your stats, I believe over 30%, you'll be fine. Um, I had one that it was at zero and all the other ones were high, fine. I don't know why only one of them was at zero. I think I forgot to add a script to something um, when I was away and I just like, oh, I just, whatever. Um, but yeah, as long as you keep them above 30, you'll be fine. Like I've never had to use medicine, uh, but you never know. <laughs> Yeah, you never, never know. All right, so I'm gonna go show you the boop, boop, boop. the genie's lamp. This is the genie's lamp. Like I said, it gives you a free item every 24 hours. So we have nine hours left on that. Um, and then we have the dishwasher that I have. <laughs> Um, I will get XP for that in nine hours. So I did my dish. Did I say dishwasher? I meant laundry. 
<laughs> I just realized, I'm like, wait, did I say dishwasher? I meant laundry. Um, so that's there. I have my brewing station. I forgot to show you this in here. I have my brewing station actually on my little meditation, uh, my mini cauldron. I have a discrete one, so it's invisible. So when I want to make brews and I meditate in here, um, my brews come up, my apothecary for my pharmacy. And if I need to make um, any ingredients, if I want to make a tea bag or coffee grinds. Um, so there's a range of different ways that you can use your scripts um, and the discrete items or the non-discrete items or the actual items. All right, we're going to go out to my farm area. I also have the trash cans. Those are my trash cans. I got I have two of them because I got them free. There's Miss Bailey. I'll her dig in a hole. All right, these are my farm plots. Uh, we have potatoes. Oh, my, my potatoes are ready. Uh, your potatoes, your wheat, and my strawberry right now. Um, but I don't leave all of my product out. Um, depending on what I need, um, I'll plant it and then put it, just leave it in my inventory. Um, I'm very adamant on how I store my items. So I specifically have farm plots saved. If I can find it. Um, I have all my fields saved uh, so I know where they go when I'm not using them so I still have some of the old system um let me see I think this one is a new system so when you go to harvest or plant um the this is the old system uh you had to click on it and then I had to accept it um and then when I accepted it it goes to my inventory so the old way was you would have to double click it or drag it out onto land and then I would click it and it will go to zero and then after that's done um, I would always get rid of it I don't need it anymore and what it does it goes to your virtual inventory that inventory button uh, that I had talked to you about in the hub before it goes to this uh, inventory right here um, on the HUD and that's where it's going it is a virtual item. It's not physical. You don't have to have it physical. You can get a physical um, of it, but I personally um, don't sell anything physical, so I always get it virtual anyway. So when you click on inventory, you can see how many seeds you have and how many ingredients. We talked about that before. I think one of these is the new version. Or is this the old one? I think this is the potatoes is the old one. Yeah, I haven't updated my new versions. They're still working, so I just haven't done it. I know, I probably need to update them. One of these is, okay, this one is. All right, so this one is a newer version, farm plot. What it is, um, when you click on it, we now have the option to do a bulk wheat um, or just do a single wheat. And again, you can have access to this of who you want to be able to use this. Also, you can turn off whether you want the wheat or any of the crop to always show. So I have mine on to where you can always see the wheat. If it's not on always show, um, it will only show up when it's ready to harvest. So it will normally show blank. Um, so if you don't want it to always show, it'll always just look like a square. But then, like I said, I always want mine to show um, so it'll always show up like that. I don't think I have any, uh, I don't think I have enough wheat seeds. Let's check the strawberry. I think the strawberry is a newer version one. I'm hoping one of these is a newer version. <laughs> nope, strawberries is my old version too. Pretty much in the new version, you have the option to get physical or virtual. Um, let's see if we have, all right. So say that we want to grow wheat. I'm going to click on wheat. It's going to tell me I need five uh, wheat seeds. I need one fertilizer and one water. We're going to click yes, and it's checking our ingredients. And chat is actually telling me I do not have enough. Um, it's telling me I still need five units. I need five units of wheat. I only have four. So I got to get some more wheat seeds. Um, and it's telling me I did earn one XP from that. But when you do harvest on the new system, um, a pop-up will come up. And it'll ask you if you want to harvest it virtually or a physical item. If you know you don't need a physical item, just get it virtually. It's going to automatically go into your virtual backpack. 
All right, so this is one of my child uh, items here. This is where I get my bait for fishing. Um, I have a tomato planter and that's where I get my uh, compost from. I don't need any compost right now, so I don't have it. This is the coop. And then I have a kid size hen. I have a kid size duck. Um, and again, if I wanted to uh, get into the chicken coop I would just click on it and it's asking me if I want to make chicken or do bulk chicken let's just do one chicken um, I need to make sure I have one animal feed and one egg and that should start going and it'll put a timer um, up top of how long it's gonna tell me as long as I have all of the ingredients which I think I should all right we have our pig our sheep and our cow that will give us product as well um the pig will give us meat fertilizer yeah just meat for fertilizer and you have to click on their heads um so we click on the little snout the cow will give us um milk and fertilizer um the barn actually i have animal feed here i was all out of animal feed all right, so we click on that. Now it says zero units of animal feed. And we're going to accept our animal feed. And then we're going to go ahead and put this into our virtual um, backpack. So we can go ahead and get the animals fed so we can get some more milk and stuff. If you don't have animal feed, then you won't be able to take care of your animals now the animals do not die okay just because you don't feed them there's some days I never come out here and milk the cow and do stuff because I don't have any animal feed or I'm waiting for XYZ or whatever they do not die they're static okay so nothing bad's gonna happen so when we click on the cow we're gonna go to our hub here produce we're just gonna do milk I'm not gonna do bulk because I don't think I need that much all right, this uses one animal feed. This is gonna take 12 hours. I keep saying 24 hours, 12 hours. Some things are 24 hours, some things are 12 hours. It's not always 24 hours. Sorry about that. Um, and then we also have my lawnmower here and we have nine hours left on that. Um, I'm trying to think of what I have. Oh, I was gonna show you the invisible, discrete animation box I put on one of my planters here all right I'm also gonna check on I believe we're done oh we have one use left of that and we have two uses so if you never know uh, our calamari has two uses left um, and then our smoothie has one use left and I think we just used it yep we just used it <laughs> so once that use is gone it says zero there we're gonna well we don't have to stop use um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just detach it and then I get rid of it because I don't need it anymore. Um, did we use all of our calamari? I'll go ahead and detach this for now so it's not in the way doing our animations. All right, so I put invisible box um, on, not on that one, it's on this one. I put an invisible box on this planter. So whenever I want to, I just put it right up front. I can do female and then I can do planting. So when I want to role play, I'm planting some seeds. If I want to pick some veggies, um, it's going to give you a cute little basket where you're going to pick up your veggies. If we had a fruit tree here, um, it would show us picking uh, from the tree or you can click on watering. So it gives you some animations if you don't have something that is animating your, your farm and your planting. Um, as well and again you can adjust that wherever you'd like okay so I'm gonna take you over to my other farm plot I have at Storyville all right so Storyville is not only the hub for Second Life it is also a full role play sim they have houses apartments uh, build uh, business buildings that you can rent and farm plots that you can rent. So say you live in a skybox and skyboxes are limited on prims, you can rent out farmland. Now, yes, you saw all of that farmland I had, 
Um, I wanted to actually drive around in my own car. So I rented this out here and I love supporting the community that I don't mind renting out a uh, farmland here to um, have one access to other things um, and just to help them out. Cause it's a really great community and I love being a part of it. So I don't feel bad uh, for uh, paying a little bit extra for some space. And also it keeps me on some prims that I can use over at home for something else. So this is my specific farm plot. I chose one of these just small skinny areas. Um, as you can see here, there's others available and you can get one of these um, when they're open and you can go inside. Each one has a different prim usage and also each one has a different cost. These smaller ones inside are cheaper and you can put uh, 35 prims in here for 50 linden a week. Um, I believe mine is 50, maybe, I think it is, I don't remember, um, I, don't, I think they're all rented out, so I can't remember off the top of my head, um, but I put my higher primmed items here, I have my trees, I have my beehive, this is my water well, and as you can see, it's telling me I have 550 water left, I've had this literally, I think, a year, it lasts so long. Um, and then this is where I collect my honey. I have some crops growing here um, because I was just here and I was like, poop, let's just drop those down. Um, my grapes are ready. I had gotten these from the Lucky Tree, uh, the Lucky Tree, the Lucky Chairs. Um, this is where we also make our grape juice, our wine. We make our butter here and stuff like that. So this is where these items are. Again, I believe I put a, yep, I put a invisible... Um, animation box here so then I can work on picking my fruit when we do our RP when I'm out here getting them getting them apples and again these trees also you can click on them and you can choose to always show the fruit or always show the text and then this is where you would plant um, I don't think I have any apple seeds we would click apple and we need five apple seeds one fertilizer and one water like I said, I don't know if I have any, um, but it'll tell us in chat uh, and then it'll tell us um, how much time we have left. All right, we're back home because I wanted to show you the scripting that I've done throughout my house. Again, there is a video when I talk about how you can my story your home. Um, we're in the bathroom because this is one of the places where I have multiple things on multiple items. I have a shower head. I have a shower. Uh, I have a shower head, a bathtub, a toilet and a sink. All of these items have my story items in them. Again, they have to be items that you can modify so you can drag and drop those scripts. Remember those starter scripts that I showed you that we got in the starter hub? Well, my bathtub, shower, and all the things in here um, are modifiable. So I'm on Firestorm, FYI. I would just right click, edit, and when it pops up, you're gonna go over to your content and you're literally just gonna drag and drop those uh, scripts over to your content. And then what it's gonna do, it's gonna show up with the script there and I put five continents um, <laughs> and we're gonna put 10 happiness and 10 hygiene in here. Um, what did I put in my shower head? I think I put the exact same thing in my shower head. Uh, this has a lot of animation so it may take a minute to load. We may not worry about that. Um, let me see, on my toilet. I think I just put continents, 10%, maybe happiness. All right, I put 10% uh, continents, 10% happiness. Um, another thing that I've noticed that people do, they get the discrete water well and they actually put the discrete water well on their faucets so you're getting water from the sink. I thought that was really cool um, and really ingenious. Um, and then I have hygiene. Did I say it? Hyg I should have hygiene on my bathtub I don't think I said hygiene I know hygiene is in the bathtub now I'm, I'm like I know it's on there did I not see hygiene yes continents happiness and hygiene is in the bathtub so whenever I want to gain these items when you use those scripts like I said they do not run out so say I want to go ahead and take a shower um, when I start my shower it will tell me in chat that the item is being used. 
So right there, uh, the shower, this item is my story compatible. It'd be great if I was showing you. Um, uh, this item is my story compatible and it's just gonna auto give me those stats in chat. So anytime you put scripts into your items, it's gonna auto just start up for you. So again, my bathtub, this item is my story compatible and it's gonna post it three times because I have, I have three different scripts in my bathtub. So it's letting you know that those items are being used. As long as I'm sitting there on that item, it's gonna give me my story stats. Now what happens if you don't have any furniture? You can just put out a prim and sit on it and it will give you stats. So let me show you that right now. So if I go to create and I do a prim, create, I'm gonna put this prim right here. All right, so let's say I don't have any furniture and I want to have something in my house that has my story compatibility on it. So I'm gonna go to my, my story scripts on my furniture, add res. All right, I'm going to right click, edit. I'm in my contents folder. So these folders here, make sure you're in your content folder. I wanna make this be able to use the bathroom 5% continents. I'm gonna drag and drop that. And so now I just have to sit here and my chat is gonna tell me that this item is my story compatible. There it is right there. So just because you don't have a physical item that would quote unquote go with that item, you can just put out a prim and sit on it. And you're gonna get those stats of whatever you drug and drop in there. And as long as the item is editable, you can control whether how much continence, energy, happiness, hygiene, you're gonna be getting out of that item. So as this goes along, it's gonna tell us that we've upgraded, not upgraded, that we've gotten our stats from this item. Again, I don't remember the minutes, but if you ever saw that little swirly white thing that kind of comes around my avatar, that's, that's an indicator that you're getting your percentage of your my story from there, okay? And again, this overhead you can um, change. I don't think I did show that. All right, so that little glow there right there, all right, it just told me my My Story system has just gave me 5% continence. So you do not have to have physical items that look like a toilet, that look like a table. If you don't have any, just make a prim and then you can, you can edit it and rename it toilet <laughs> for now or whatever and keep it in your inventory. And then you know you always have it until you get the furniture that you want. So when you open up your uh, mod, your, your HUD, um, as I said, you can go to your farming text. Um, this is where you would pause it on off. If you want to change your overhead, you don't have to have it show all of that stuff. You can make it short to where it just says my story store owner. Um, if you don't want everyone to know your business and where you're at, um, it also has a modest to where it only shows health, energy, hunger, thirst, happiness, social. It doesn't show your health, your sick or your continence. Or like I said, if you wanna um, take your overhead and have it show none, it'll still give you the stats, you just can't physically see it. You have to have it on your body. You don't have to have the orange circle hub. You don't have to have that on. Um, but you have to have it to where the overhead is there. And then if you want it back on, you can turn on all and you can play through the HUD and go from there. I'm hoping I didn't miss anything um, with starting up with my story. Again, I have the video that I created that connects all of my story and how to completely make your house compatible. And I did go ahead and go through some of that. Now, I didn't go through a lot of the my story, Storyville Sim, but if you ever wanna check it out, it is in the same Sim as the headquarters are. So once you leave that main building, you can walk around and go look at the community um, and stuff like that and other stores that are around there and even rentals if you wanted to actually live on the sim so hopefully you enjoy my story and what it has to offer if you love uh, playing simulation and role playing and adding that I have been doing it for a year they've been out for a year and I've been really enjoying it I am a little bit behind because I paused my HUD a lot when I got started and then I realized hey you really don't need to pause it just leave it on all the time 
um, like you're, you'll be fine. So figure out what you want to do. If you don't want to farm, you don't have to farm. If you only want to cook, you can focus on cooking. If you're not worried about your stats, but you want to do all the other gardening, farming stuff, then keep your head paused. You decide what you want to do and how you want to do my story. Um, if you're ever interested in joining the community, like I said, that full sim is open and a whole RP community as well. They host events um, and things like that that are really, really fun. So I hope you enjoy this and hopefully you can find what you enjoy with my story and maybe down the road I may show how to use the affiliate scripts. I'm not 100% sure because it's very time consuming and this video is an hour in itself um, or close to it. I'll probably cut some things out. Uh, that we didn't really need. So long video already, but good luck with everything. If you have any questions, like I said, you're welcome to find me in world if you ever need to. Um, and I'm happy to welcome you and show off and help not show off, but show off a couple things, um, and help if you need it, as long as I'm free. Sometimes I'm doing a lot of stuff on the SL. So it just depends. Uh, so I love and appreciate you guys. Thank you for hanging out with this video. Sorry if it was super, super long. Um, but hopefully you got the main gist of starting out with my story RP system. So have a good rest of your day or night wherever you are. And this is Luna, Galaxy out.